reports hao ya kwamba eh, Donald Trump eh, ni mfungwa amehukumiwa tayari mahakamani jamani ni naye ni nani kule Kenya ambaye kweli anaweza kuhukumiwa kifunge kwenda kamiti halafu tena <laughs> awanie tena urais yule ni Donald Trump la tatu pia pengine wa Afrika wamezoea ule uongozi wa eh, wa ubabe eh, wa kujigamba kujigamba wa viongozi wetu viongozi wa mkono chuma lakini hapa eh, hilo ni, ni dosari kwa Donald Trump manake hapa Marekani tuna watu zaidi ya milioni mia tatu hamsini ni kama Nigeria mara tatu kwa nchi moja au Kenya moja mara sita Kenya mara sita kuwa taifa moja kwa hivyo ukiwa uh, kiongozi kama Trump aliye na tabia za kidikteta za ubwanyenye unaweza kuleta vurugu sana kwa jamii sana sana jamii uh, iliyochanganyika sana uh, kimaadili uh, ki, kimila Uh, ki, 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 kuna uh, wakristo wengi hapa wayahudi waislamu dini chungu nzima kwa hivyo wewe ukiwa kiongozi wa kiburi kama Donald Trump na unajipiga kifua unaamua chako ni chako na lazima uongoze kwa mababu unaletea taifa uh, madhara kwa hivyo uh, kwa watu wanaoangalia kutoka nje pengine wanaona ya kwamba ye ni ni, 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 um, ni kiongozi shupavu lakini kwa undani na sio kusema ati nampendelea kama la Harris au Donald Trump lakini ukiangalia kwa undani vile nimeangazia ni nani Kenya angependa kuwa na mtu anayegombea kura aliyehukumiwa kifungo kwenda kule kamiti na anasimamia urais ni nani kweli angependa rais wake au anatusi mataifa mengine kwa maneno machafu machafu ni kiongozi gani angependa kuwa na rais ambaye anajipiga kifua na kuwa na kiburi hata ingawa marekani ni dola kubwa lazima kuwe na unyenyekevu na ushirikiano wa rais wa dola kubwa kama hii kuleta mataifa yote ya dunia pamoja na kuweza kujiendeleza ndipo sa natoa matamshi hayo kaka kiongozi mm, shukran sana profesa profesa tutachukua mapumziko mafupi lakini tukirejea nataka tujadili swala nzima la wakristo wengi sana wameonekana kumunga tena Donald Trump sijui ni kwa nini wamesema anamuunga mkono ukumbuke Barack Obama amempigia kampeni sana Kamala Harris na vile vile ukumbuke Joe Biden alikuwa naibu wake Barack Obama ambaye ni mzaliwa babake ni mzaliwa hapa nyumbani nchini Kenya lakini tunachukua mapumziko mafupi vile vile kuna wakenya ambao wamezungumza na kuna wakenya ambao wanawania viti tofauti tofauti kule Marekani tutakuwa tukipata taarifa zao mapumziko kisha tukirejea turejee na wageni wetu vile vile tutarejea na taarifa hizo za wakenya walioko Marekani I'll have the usual on the rocks double. I'll have whatever he's having. Real recognize real. No added sugar, no preservatives. 100% real fruit. Global Tea and Commodities Limited is by far the largest tea exporter in Kenya and probably in East Africa as well. Our group has employed close to 1000 employees. We face so much of challenges. One of the rainbows in the storm has been Upsa's TMO system. The facilities which we enjoy has helped us grow our business in the last year tremendously. And together we can write the next chapter of our story. Are you ready? Kashpop za nyandaro ni mawaru 
order anything you want fish choma burgers groceries or even this and glovo brings it to you in minutes na ikikufikia you're left with this mm face with this yeah. i want this one download glovo order anything will deliver in minutes Unahitaji msomaji habari aelewaye matukio na matokeo ya matukio? Michezo hutegemea hewa safi. Msomaji habari mweledi wa majimbo. Kanti Msomaji habari mweledi wa maswala ya kanda. Nataka nisikie vile wewe ukianza unasikia. Msomaji habari mweledi wa maswala ya ulimwengu. Hapa jijini New York nchini Marekani. Msomaji wa mtagusano, mvuto, nato na haiba ya kuaminika. Habari zako za NTV ya Dhuhuri zimepata sura mpya. Mimi ni Lois Wangoi. Kila siku, kila wiki, kila tukio. Saa saba adhuhuri kwa taarifa kuntu tendeti na za kuaminika ni NTV Adhuhuri. Join Nation Sacco today and experience a financial partner that works for you. Call us or visit us at IPS building on 10th floor, Kimathi Street, Nairobi. We are open to all. Nation Sacco, fulfilling dreams. TV. Mtazamaji wa NTV, karibu tena leo ni kipindi speciali tunaangazia uchaguzi wa Marekani, uchaguzi ambao umeanzia leo mapema leo asubuhi. Kule Marekani ni asubuhi asubuhi sasa ikielekea mwendo wa saa 12 dakika 25 kule ni saa moja saa mbili hivi na ni posa wa Marekani wengi wameamkia kwenda kupiga kura. Ni nao hapa kwenye studio zetu uh, wa Kenya ambao wanaishi kule Marekani ni naye Profesa David Monda huyu ni mhathiri kule kwenye chuo kikuu cha New York vile vile ni naye George Manyange huyu ni mwanahabari mkenya ambaye anaishi Marekani naye Pauline Mururi huyu naye ni mkenya ambaye ameishi kule Marekani na fanya kazi kule Marekani tutakuwa tukirejea nao muda sio muda mkenya Robert Onyango ameishi mji wa Middletown kule Delaware kwa zaidi ya miaka na saba na anasema uchaguzi wa Marekani umebadilika kwa njia kubwa sana ikilinganishwa na miaka ya hapo awali na huenda ukabadilika hata zaidi. NTV imezungumza naye mapema leo na ana haya ya kusema kuhusu uchaguzi huu wa Marekani. I must say that things have changed over the time that I've lived here. I've seen several um, presidential elections but when it came to around um, the time that Trump gone into the scene things changed a little bit and since then it's been about um more like um personality competition or or or, or, or elections that are based on insults um tribes or or or, or, or you know just interest that see other people as as enemies or, and 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 so if you disagree with somebody you look at them as, as an enemy whereas when when i came here we 20, 20 something years ago um elections were about um ideas 
the Republican Party's fought on, on, on ideas and, and, and the Democrats fought on their ideas and, and, and they were still able to come together and, and, and um, talk to each other. And that was something that surprised me and that was something that I really admired um, when I came here to the States. Right now, things have changed and it's more about, um, you know, if you don't agree, agree with me, you know, we, 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 we got to fight or you're a bad person. And, and to the level where we have insults that just remind me of how, you know, back in Kenya, politicians just insult and, and, and fight and, and, and it's not like something that is for the interest of the people, but the interest of a few individuals. Um, I'm hoping for the best. Um, I'm not going to say who, you know, I hope to win, but, you know, at the end of the day, somebody's going to win. And uh, I, I believe that the American democracy will hold and the rightful winner will, you know, lead as um, the leader of the world. Um, I think the Trump presidency will, in, in a way, um, negate most of the things that are not of the interest. MAGA policy um, basically puts America first and might not be willing to venture into things like climate change that they have not um, wrapped their hands around and accepted as, as something that is going on. They might also not invest so much in um, you know electioneering or election um, freedom or, or, or reforms as such. Trade and investment, that might just depend on, 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 on what the Americans will get out of it. So depending on, 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 on their view of those things, those policies might, or those agreements might not be implemented to the letter. Um, when it comes to Kamala, to Kamala Harris, if, so if Kamala Harris wins, then I think the Kenyan government, um, Democratic Party, um, to be implemented or to be followed through. Um, one of them, things like climate change and, and reforms, human rights, those, those are things that I think the um, de Democratic Party take um, um, seriously. And also just inclusivity. I think inclusivity and just accepting other people as... as, as a... mm. Oni, Mkenya. Robert Onyango ambaye anaishi kule Delaware na ameishi kwa zaidi ya miaka 27 na anasema kwamba taifa hilo na chaguzi ya Marekani imebadilika sana tangia miaka ambayo amekuwa kule ameona marais kadhaa kumbuke kule Marekani unafanya uchaguzi baada ya miaka mine sio kama hapa nchini Kenya ni baada ya miaka mitano kwa hivyo baada ya miaka mine yule ambaye atachaguliwa siku ya leo au kesho tukielezewa nani ambaye ameshinda kati ya Donald Trump akiwa na Kamala Harris basi yeye atakuwa kiongoza kwa miaka mine ijayo hapo awali nilikueleza kwamba ninao ninao wageni ambao wako kule Marekani tunazungumza nao moja kwa moja wa Kenya ambao wameishi kule Marekani kwa muda ninaye Profesa Mona ambaye ni muhathiri kule Marekani na vile vile Pauline Mururi wakiwa na George Manyange sasa ni kuje kwako eh, Pauline Mururi na nikuulize swali hili e, umesema na tukizungumza hapo awali tumezungumza kwa muda na ukanieleza kwamba e, umeona zile sera zile kwa kimombo tunaita policies za Donald Trump e, zinasaidia sana nchi ya kule Marekani je kwa hivi sasa kulingana na vile profesa alisema bado unashikilia kwamba zile policies sera za Donald Trump zitawasaidia wa Marekani uh, personally um... I know it might sound very funny, but personally, um, I don't I don't like Trump as a person. I like Camilla Harris. She's a woman, um, just like me. I love her, but um, uh, at the same time, there's policies the Democrats have that I don't align with. Um, there's policies that uh, the Republicans have regarding abortion, immigration that I stand with. So. Um, this election is kind of different for me, so I'm going Republican. I'm a Republican this election, and it might sound funny as an immigrant. What one expect? Uh, because you're a, you're an immigrant, on a, on a expectation equal. Kuna um, watu ambao wanasema Donald Trump ataki watu wa immigrants or waishi Marekani ata deport watu. I don't think that's how things work. Um, he's a very vocal person. You will talk things the way they are. And personally, I mean, it's a personal choice. I feel like uh, uh, Democrats want to sugarcoat a lot of things. And uh, I think this election, I'm just, um, I mean, I'm going, I'm going uh, blue. 
and that's that's it shukran sana pauline Eh, anashikilia sana profesa akisema kwamba wa Afrika tulitusiwa sana na Donald Trump lakini Pauline anasema eh, zile sera ambazo ni muhimu zaidi kwake yeye akizifuatilia kwa karibu sana anaona zitamfaa kwake yeye sijui profesa mkiwa na David Manyange uh, uh, Manyange George Manyange mnaona vipi kuhusiana na sera hasa sera ambayo inaguzia humu nchini Kenya na wa Afrika kwa ujumla kuna sera ambayo uh, Donald Trump amekuwa akisema kwa muda kwamba hataruhusu watu zaidi kwenda kule Marekani. Nyinyi ambao mnaishi kule Marekani na mmeishi Marekani, mnahisi vipi kuhusiana na hii sera ambayo eh, inasema hataruhusu watu wengi zaidi kuendelea kuishi au kuendelea kuja kule Marekani? Eh, nianze nawe George. Um, Shukran sana mwitiriri. Naam, um, ikikuja kwenye kura kati ya hawa wagombea ne, wa, wagombea wawili hapa ikiwa moja ni rais alikuwa rais mstaafu na moja ni uh, makamu wa rais ukiangalia Donald Trump amesema kuwa kwenye sera ya uhamiaji atahakikisha kuwa atapitisha uh, sheria ambayo itaruhusu haitaruhusu watu ambao wamekuja alisema illegal immigrants wale ambao wamekuja hapa illegally au ndio ndio Donald Trump ambao hapendi kwa sababu amesema kuwa hao ndio wanachukua kazi za wa wa Amerika hapa wa, wa Amerika hapa na hiyo ni sera ambayo amesema kuwa kiingia ndani atahakikisha imepitishwa lakini kumka kuwa kwenye kampeni uh, kila mgombea anaongea anarusha ana, ana sera zake hapa nje ili kuhamasisha uh, wapiga kura waweze kumpigia kura kumke kuwa uh, kwenye historia ya Marekani uh, rais ambaye alianza kuwafurusha uh, immigrants wengi ilikuwa ni rais uh, Barack Obama na kwake Trump alipoingia mwaka 2016 mpaka mpaka mwaka 2020 uh, kwenye awamu yake ya kwanza hakuwafurusha wahamiaji wengi iki, 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 kama uh, Barack Obama na ukumbike kuwa iwapo atachaguliwa basi itabidi pia akuwe na chama chake cha Republican Party kuwe na uh, the majority pale kwenye Senate kwa kuwa kwa saa huu tuko na viti uh, kumi ambazo zitakuwa zinapiganiwa kwenye uchaguzi huu na iwapo kama atataka kupitisha sera zake iwapo atachaguliwa itabidi pia ya kuwe na majority wa kwenye Senate kwa hivyo Trump akisema akisema sera ya uhamiaji hiyo ni sera ambayo tu anasema tu kuwafurahisha wale wapiga kura ndio wampatie kura lakini hii sera hata ipitisha iwapo hata kuwa na the majority pale kwenye Senate na pale kwenye House of uh, Representatives au kipenda the Congress kwa hivyo itabidi kuwa chama zote mbili zihakikishe kuwa wamepata wa kiti cha urais na pia umepata pia pale majority kwenye senate na kwenye house of congress na kumke kuwa sera ambazo zinaangaliwa sana ambazo wa wa Amerika wanaangalia sana ni sera ya uchumi se, uh, uchumi sera za kigeni sera za uhamiaji kuna demokrasia na zile haki za uzazi au kipenda reproductive rights hizi ni sera ambazo jenzi sana sana watakuwa naangalia kwenye watakuwa nahakikisha kuwa wanampigia kura uh, kama la Harris especially kuja kwenye hizi sera za haki ya uzazi na kwenye sera ya demokrasia kuja kwenye sera ya uchumi wote mwana kuwa Trump atafanya vyema kwenye uchumi kwa kuwa ukiangalia kwenye awamu yake ya kwanza Marekani ilikuwa inafanya vizuri kwenye uh, sekta ya uchumi lakini kumbuka wakati Biden alichukua kulikuwa na pia ile uh, mambo ya covid pandemic hiyo hiyo hizi kwa hiyo uh, maana kulikuwa na ile kitu kwa tunaita inflation na ukiangalia kwenye sera za kigeni zile sera ni sera ambayo mmoja wapo Marekani lazima hakikishe the foreign policy hii ni sera ambayo ni muhimu sana kwa uh, sekta za Marekani kwa kuwa sasa tumeona vita pale kwenye taifa la Ukraine na Russia pia tumeona pale vita pale Middle East kwenye taifa la, la Lebanon, Iran, Gaza na Israel hii ni sera ambayo itahakikisha iwapo nani ataingia kuwa rais atakisha kuwa, kuwa zile uh, vita zina, 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 uh, vita vinavyoendelea pale uh, Middle East na vita zinazoendelea pale Ukraine zimeisha na zimesitishwa kwa hivyo hizo ni sera ambazo wapiga kura watakuwa naangalia sana kwenye kura kwenye uchaguzi huu wa mwaka 2024 Mm, shukran sana George. Nikuja kwako profesa na nikuulize sera ambayo unaona itawasaidia sababu wewe ni mhathiri. Sera ambayo unaona itawasaidia wa Afrika. Haswa wa Kenya ukikumbuka wewe ni mkenya. Haswa wa Kenya hapa unaona ni sera ipi kati ya sera hizi ambazo wamekuwa watu wawili wakizipigania sana ukiangalia upande wa Kamala Harris na upande wa Donald Trump. Uh, na, na, naomba uh, kabla nijibu uh, hilo niangazie ni mawili matatu kwa yale yaliyosemwa uh, pale mbeleni uh, mimi nadhani kwa wa Afrika na kwa wahamiaji sera za Donald Trump zitadhofisha sana nafsi ya Afrika tusisahau ya kwamba uh, ametishia kuwaondoa zaidi ya wahamiaji Uh, milioni 15 wasio na vibali 
tusahau ya kwamba tena wahamiaji wengi hawa sio watu waliovunja sheria kuja Marekani ni kwa mfano wa Kenya, wa Tanzania, wa China eh, hata watu kutoka Ulaya wali, walipewa visa lakini walikaa hapa eh, na kuzidia muda wao. Pengine mtu anapewa visa ya miezi miwili anakaa Marekani miezi, uh, miaka miwili ama hata mie, miaka ishirini bila kutoka. Kwa hiyo uh, kifalsafa hapa Marekani tuna ule utu wa kibinadamu. Hakuna njia kweli unaweza kuwa na kiongozi anayetaka kufurusha watu milioni kumi na tano Jamani watoto wa hawa watu watapelekwa wapi? Na hawa ni wa Marekani wamezaliwa hapa. Eh ukiwafurusha wazazi wao warudishe Kenya hawa watoto watabaki na nani gharama ya ndege za kuwapeleka kuwafurusha hawa wahamiaji wote itakuwa ni, 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 ni gani cha pili ndugu mwenyekiti lazima niongezea kwamba kwa nafsi za wanawake Donald Trump hajajionyesha jion, kuwa na kipaumbele tunajua tabia zake za kuwagusagusa wanawake kwa njia zisizofaa matamshi yake machafu machafu eh, za kuji za kujipiga kifua na na, 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 na vile ameweza kuwabaka na kuwagusagusa wanawake hizi sio ma, haya sio maadili ambayo jamii inaweza kuiangazia halafu pia nikiangazia swala la uh, la biashara Donald Trump anataka kuongezea kodi za bidhaa zote zinazoingia kutoka ngambo kwa asilimia moja tusahau hiyo ni kodi sio tu inaelekezwa kwa Uchina na Ulaya lakini hiyo kodi pia itapiga mataifa ya Afrika yani tukiagiza tuki bidhaa kutoka Kenya itapigwa kodi uh, bidhaa zote asilimia mia moja jambo hili litazua uh, vita vya kibiashara kati ya Ulaya na Uchina na Ulaya na Marekani kwa sababu mataifa madola makubwa ya nje pia yataweka vikwazo kwa bidhaa za za Marekani. Vugu vugu hizi za kibiashara zitaathiri Afrika manake gharama ya ya, ya ya maisha itapanda, watalii watakosa kutoka Ulaya, Uchina kuja Kenya kwa sababu biashara imesambaratika. Kwa sababu, eh, kwa hivyo eh, sera za Trump eh, ndugu mwenyekiti ni kama haya hayaeleweki haya kwa masuala mengi. Lakini kuangazia suala lako ila kwamba tuweza kutabiria kipi uh, hata ingawa Donald Trump uh, kwa sera zake za ngambo ni kama wakati mwingine uh, anatatanisha wakati huo anasema hivi wakati mwingine anasema vile nadhani akiwa akiweza kushinda urais lazima marais na umoja wa Afrika wakae kidete wajipange vile wanaweza kufanya biashara na Donald Trump Manake yeye ni yule wanaita transactional leader ni kama anafanya sera za ngambo kama biashara. Kwa hivyo itabidi pia uh, viongozi wa Afrika wapige darubini hapo. Na kwa wakati huu sijaona umoja wa Afrika au Kenya ikitoa sera za kubainisha uh, Trump akishinda Kenya itakuwa na sera gani na kunadi kwa, kwa uma kwangu mm. mimi na wewe sera za Kenya za nje zitakuwa zipi Trump mm. akishinda sera hapo, za nje za za, 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 za wengine tu, itakuwa vipi profesa ni kukatiza tu kwa muda sababu nataka kuchukua E, taarifa ambazo tutakuwa nazo saa moja nataka niwaonyeshe wa Kenya taarifa ambazo tutakuwa tukipeperusha ni Profesa David Monda yuko kwenye chuo kikuu kilecha New York na mtazamaji picha ambazo zinakujia moja kwa moja zile ambazo umeziona hapo awali hizo ni picha ku moja kwa moja kutoka pale eneo la Wisconsin kule Marekani picha ambazo zinakujia mbashara lakini kwa sasa mtazamaji wetu ni kupe yajayo Yajayo katika MTV jioni Familia moja imezama katika majonzi kwa Kakamega kutokana na kifo cha mmoja wao ambaye alikuwa mtahimiwa wa KCSC. Mwanafunzi anayekabiliwa na changamoto ya akili azuiwa kufanya mtihani magharibi mwa Kenya. Kisa na maana shule haikuwa imemsajili. Wa Marekani wameanza kupiga leo kura za urais. Je, zamu nyingine ya Donald Trump au Kamala Harris? Tuko Marekani kwa hilo. Mm. 
mm, hizo ni taarifa ambazo nitakuwa nikikusomea mwendo wa saa moja jioni Duncan Kaimba yuko kule Marekani nafuatilia kwa ukaribu sana akishaona vile ambavyo atakuwa akipiga kura baadaye baadaye atakuwa kituelezea kwa kinaga ubaga nani atakuwa mshindi watakuwa kwenye eneo ambako Kamala Harris ambaye ni naibu rais kwa hivi sasa makamu wa rais ambako atakuwa pale Duncan Kaimba atakuwa picha ambazo zina unaziona mtazamaji wetu hizi picha zinakujia moja kwa moja kutoka kule Marekani hizo picha ambazo unaziona kwa nyeruninga yako ni picha ambazo zinakujia moja kwa moja kutoka kule Marekani e, wameingia kwenye uchaguzi ni uchaguzi kati ya mababe wawili aliyekuwa rais Donald Trump kwa miaka mine na vile vile naibu wa rais au makamu wa rais Kamala Harris ambaye wanazozana sana na kifikia jana walikuwa karibu tu wanatoshana nikitazama kwenye runinga sasa niende kwa wale ambao washapiga kura Pauline Mururi ushapiga kura kule Marekani nikuulize sababu umekuwa kwenye wakati wa Barack Obama umemtazama na ukamuona Donald Trump akiwa rais kwa miaka mine sasa umemuona Joe Biden wakiwa na Kamala Harris naibu wake hao watatu ukiwalinganisha ni sera za nani ambazo ungesema zilikufaa wewe kama mkenya ambaye unaishi Marekani na wakenya kwa ujumla uh, personally naweza sema sera za Barack Obama zilikuwa nzuri um, I've always been a democrat yeah but um, tangu Biden aingie maisha ni kama yamekuwa magumu kidogo and things have been really hard um, and I, i feel like we need change we just need something different during the trump time things were really better for me and i mean generally kila mtu anaweza sema um but when you compare what our watatu anaweza sema barack obama during the obama time things were better for for mm. us as america mm. yeah Uh, manyanga nikuulize tu bado swali lilo hilo je yeah, ukilinganisha marais hawa watatu sababu tunaangalia kipindi ambacho watatu hawa wamezozana sana ukilinganisha hawa watatu je yeah, nani utasema amekuwa na sera ambazo zimwasaidia wa Marekani na vile vile zimwasaidia wa Afrika na wa Kenya kwa ujumla Naam nikumbuka kwamba uh, Joe Biden rais wa sasa ambaye atakuwa na anatuka atakuwa na anatuka ikifikia mwaka ujao mwaka uh, mwezi Januari 20 tarehe 20 ah uh, tuzi mlaumu kwa kuwa alipochukua mamlaka alipata kuwa kulikuwa na lile uh, pandemic uh, covid 19 ilikuwa lime kila dunia nzima ilikuwa limeangamizwa kwenye covid 19 kwa hivyo ilichukua muda sana na 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 fraya kwa kuwa aliweza ku, kuirudisha Marekani ambapo pahali kwenitajika kwa kuwa ukiangalia kwenye inflation inflation rates zilikuwa zimeenda juu alichukua wakati inflation ilikuwa imefika asilimia sita na kwa sasa inflation imefika sahi asilimia mbili nukta moja kwa hivyo wamefanya kazi sana amejitahidi na ukiangalia Donald Trump akati alipokuwa rais alipata uchumi ulikuwa ulikuwa sawa lakini kumpa uchumi huo ulikuwa ni kazi ya Barack Obama kwa sababu Barack Obama alimpatia alimkabidhi mikoba wakati uchumi ulikuwa sawa na kwa hivyo Donald Trump alipochukua mamlaka kila kitu kilikuwa sawa kwa kuwa alipata uchumi kwa sawa kukua na pandemic hakukua na janga la covid 19 na pia hakukua na vita pale uh, bara la Middle East pale hakukua na bara la Middle East hakukua na Ukraine na Russia hakukua na vita vyovyote kwa hivyo ilikuwa rahisi kwake sana kwenye awamu yake ya mwaka 2016 mpaka 2020 kwa sasa rais ambaye atakuwa anachukua mamlaka iwapo Trump atashinda ama iwapo Kamala atapatiwa nafasi ya kuwa mwanamke wa kwanza kwenye historia kuwa rais Marekani itabidi basi zile sera ambazo zilikuwa zinawafaidi wa Marekani eh, ikumbuke kuwa sera uchumi ni sera ambayo Ma, ma, wa Marekani wanaangalia sana sana na sana kwa, na na, na, na ukumke kwa sera ya uchumi ni sera ambayo Trump amesema kuwa akipewa kura basi ni sera ambayo atakuwa anaipigania kwa kuwa uchumi ndio uti wa mgongo wa Marekani kwa kuwa America wanasema kuwa America has the best economy kwa, na it's the best uh, uh, number one best economy in the world kwa kuwa Marekani watakuwa wanapigana na China watakuwa wanapigana na Russia watakuwa wanapigana pia na India watakuwa wanapigana pia na uh, mataifa yale ya neto pale kuhakikisha kuwa nani ambaye ataibuka mshindi pale kwenye uchumi na kwa kuwa uh, Trump amesema kingine nani basi atahakikisha kuwa basi ameweka zile tariffs au kipenda uh, tariffs kwenye uh, ataweka ata, 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 kwenye uh, kwenye bidhaa ambazo zitakuwa zinatoka Uchina na amesema kuwa kiingizo ndani pia atahakikisha kuwa Marekani pia wamefungua most manufacturing wamefungua most manufacturing companies ndipo saa watu wapate kazi hapa na hiyo ni sera ambayo watu ambao wanafanya kazi kwenye unions 
uh, those, those who are working in unions jobs wanapenda sera kama hiyo kwa kuwa zitawale zitawafaidi sana na hiyo ni sera ambayo amesema yeye yeah, kingine nani atakuwa anahakikisha kuwa imefanyika na ukiangalia kwenye kama la Harris amesema kuwa yeye yeah, akipatiwa uh, nafasi ya ku kuwa rais atahakikisha kuwa watu ambao wanataka kununua nyumba watu ambao wanataka kuanza biashara ndogo watakuwa wanapata zile au kipenda zile tax cut ama zile loani za zile uh, kodi za kuweza ku, ku, ku kuanza biashara na zitakuwa zinapia na faida pia watu ambao wana familia watu ambao wana watoto pia watakuwa na faida kwa kupata zile matax cut uh, zile trade anga child tax na hiyo ni kitu ambacho wamesema kuwa yeye akiingizwa ndani atahakikisha kuwa kimefanyika kwa hivyo ni kati ya hawa wawili kuhakikisha kuwa sera ambazo wanasema zimetimizwa lakini hazitatimizwa iwapo hawatakuwa na uh, walio wengi chama chao kutakuwa na wali wengi kwenye uh, kwenye seneti na ikumbuke kuwa yote tisa kumi ni kwamba yote yatakuwa yakielekea sasa pale kwenye jimbo zile saba zile ambazo nilikuwa nikwambia Fred jimbo la North jimbo la uh, North Carolina jimbo la Nevada jimbo la Georgia, jimbo la Wisconsin, jimbo la Pennsylvania, jimbo la Michigan na jimbo la Arizona. Hizi ni majimbo ambazo zitahakikisha nani atakuwa rais. Kwa hivyo Trump akitaka kushinda basi itabidi ita basi ashinde jimbo la Georgia, Arizona, jimbo la Nevada na hakikisha kuwa ameshinda jimbo la Pennsylvania. Na iwapo Harris atataka kuwa rais wa kwanza mwanamke, itabidi basi ameshinda ile jimbo la Pennsylvania, jimbo la Michigan na jimbo la Wisconsin haizipoteza haya majimbo matatu au kipenda tunaita the blue wall akipoteza mmoja wapo ya the blue wall haya majimbo matatu basi hiyo ndoto yake kuwa rais basi itakuwa ime, imekamilika hapo kwa kuwa Trump akishinda jimbo moja kati ya hizo tatu kwenye blue wall basi yeye ndo rais wa uh, atakuwa rais wa awamu ya pili uh, rais wa 47 sana George Manyange nikupe taarifa hii ya mkenya ambaye anaishi kule Marekani anaitwa Hudla Hitsley Huyu ni mgombea wa chama cha Democrat kwa kiti cha wakilishi cha jimbo la 38A kule Brooklyn Park Minnesota. Na anawania uchaguzi huu wa historia Hisley ambaye ni Mkenya anayeishi Marekani, anawania kiti hiki katika jiji lenye utofauti mkubwa kikabila ambapo asilimia sitini na sita ni wakazi wa eneo hilo ni weusi, yani ni kama wa Afrika kutoka bara hili la Afrika Hisley amefanya kampeni ya nyumba kwa nyumba kisisitiza umuhimu wa wakilishi wa hamiaji, wa jamii ya rangi mbali mbali ikiwa atashinda Hisley atakuwa mkenya wa kwanza kuchaguliwa kushika wadfa wa kisiasa pale ambako anaishi kule Marekani tashite wako mgombea baraza la mji wa Brooklyn Park pia anasisitiza nafasi ya wahamiaji katika mafanikio ya Marekani akijitolea mfano Steve Jobs na Elon Musk kampeni hii inajitahidi kubadilisha ushawishi wa kisiasa na kuleta mabadiliko kwa jamii za wahamiaji na watu wa rangi tusikize taarifa hii kutoka kule Marekani na huyu Mkenya Hitsley strong team that that really has you know sacrificed a lot to make sure that you know this campaign is on track and this campaign has achieved what it laid out to do um, and I'm proud of that so if you ask me for the challenges you know it, it has come down to you know getting the message out there and 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 proving to voters that I am fit and I'm overqualified <laughs> but uh, all in all um, this has been a tremendous experience so far especially with the magnitude of the support that I've received throughout the journey so far. When I win on Tuesday, uh, I'll be the first Kenyan born ever elected into uh, any office in the whole entire United States. That speaks a lot of volume about, you know, um, how far we've come as a community and as a state, really, especially as a state that is so diverse where, you know, we're embracing the various uh, voices that represent the beauty and, and the tapestry of this state. Um, and it's a privilege to have that opportunity to be in that position to represent our 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 district and then our state as well. Mm, takwa mkenya wa kwanza kuchaguliwa. Sijui kama naweza warai wa America wampigie kura Hitsley. Sasa tunakamilisha kipindi lakini ni wape kwa sekunde 30 wageni wangu ambaye tuko ambao tuko nao hapa kwenye studio zetu lakini wako kule Marekani tunaye George vile vile tunaye Pauline na vile vile tunaye Profesa Monda Pauline je kwako kwa sekunde 30 hivi ni kuache na je kwenye uchaguzi huu wa Marekani huyu ni George Pauline yuko pale pale pia e, kwenye kwa dakika kwa sekunde 30 je Pauline e, kwa uchaguzi wa mwaka 2024 utasema nani unaona akishinda Pongo binafsi high chances Camilla Harris and her she's going to take it. I have a feeling high high feeling she's going to take it. 
David Monda kwa maoni yako je unamuona Kamala akichukua wadhifa huu Nadhani ana matumaini makubwa kwa sababu tayari idadi ya kura zaidi ya milioni sabini na nane zilipigwa mbeleni kupitia posta na takwimu hizo zinaashiria pia kwamba wanawake wengi walipiga kura kwa hiyo jambo hilo ni kipaumbele kikubwa kwa, kwa Kamala Harris Uh, na nadhani uh, cha pili ni uh, ni nadra sana ni rais mmoja tu aliye uh, kuwa rais na kushindwa alafu kurudi mamlakani imefanyika mara, mara moja tu historia ya ya Marekani na Trump anajaribu kufanya hivyo kwa, kwa hivyo nadhani ni vigumu mm. lakini pia Trump anaweza kushinda uh, umbi langu na wazo langu ni kwamba kuwe na amani manake Trump akishindwa E, wakati mwingine tunajua atakataa matokeo ya uchaguzi mm. na jambo hilo litazua balaa na hali ya sintofahamu Shukran sana David George nani unaona akichukua uchaguzi wa mwaka 2024 Na mzungumza na watu kura hapa nimezungumza na watu kwenye vyama vya Republican Party na kwenye chama cha uh, Democratic Party harmony yangu haya kwangu naona Donald Trump akirudi tena kwa awamu ya pili kwa sababu nasema hii ni Uh, uh, kwa kuwa ukiangalia kwenye historia ya Marekani hawajai hawajai kuwa na mwanamke kama rais na ukiangalia kwenye marais ambao wamepita marais 46 rais ambaye alikuwa nakaribia sana kukuwa uh, mwaka 2016 ukumbuke kuwa uh, Hillary Clinton alikuwa nakaribia sana kushinda lile kiti sana ki, baada ya kuchukua ni kwa sababu Barack Obama alikuwa ameona kuwa yeye ye, atampatia Hillary Clinton na ukumbuke kuwa alikuwa anaenda walikuwa na na Donald Trump lakini kwenye kura ya walio wengi Hillary Clinton alishinda kura lakini ilipokuja kwenye kura ya uchaguzi Donald Trump alishinda hiyo kura mwaka 2016 mm. mwaka huu pia hayo hayo inaweza kafanyika inaweza karudi hayo inaweza kujirudia kwa kuwa Kamala Harris huenda kashinda kura ya walio wengi lakini kuja mm. kwenye kura ya uchaguzi electoral college Donald Trump huenda kashinda na kwa, kwa, kwa sababu nasema hii ni kwa sababu kwa zile swing states zile majimbo zile swing states hapo naona Trump akishinda Pennsylvania na shinde Georgia, Nevada na Arizona bas mjitayarishe for another term for, uh, for Trump's presidency hayo ni maoni yangu shukran sana George Manyange mkiwa na professor David Monda kutoka chuo kikuu cha New York kule Marekani alikuwa hapo awali Pauline Mururi ambaye ni mkenya ambaye anafanya kazi kule Marekani na ameishi Marekani kwa muda asanteni sana kwa muda wenu mie nashukuru e, shukran tena tutazungumza sababu uchaguzi bado unaendelea mtazamaji mie Frederick Buiteriri naondoka tu kwa muda lakini tunarejea na taarifa zetu za NTV jioni usiende mbali